Ever plan out an entire conversation in your head, only to realize you're the only one having it? Yeah, overthinking can make you an expert in hypothetical situations. But today, we're talking about how to leave those behind and get back to reality. And if you're wondering what might help me on this video, PsychUp's free well-being assessment can guide you toward the right support. Check it out below. Overthinking is like running on a mental treadmill. You're moving, but you're not actually getting anywhere. It's when you replay situations, regret past decisions, or worry excessively about the future. Sound familiar? The trick it is, overthinking doesn't solve problems, it magnifies them. But don't worry, we've got steps to get you off that mental treadmill. Tip one, focus on the present moment. Anxiety thrives when we're stuck in the past or future. So to stop overthinking, bring yourself back to the present. Using grounding techniques like deep breathing or the 5-4-3-2-1 method, where you notice five things you see, four you can touch, three sounds you hear, two smells, and one taste, it's a quick way to stop your mind from spiraling. And by the way, if you're wondering whether mindfulness or therapy might help, remember that PsychUp's well-being assessment can guide you to what's best for you. Tip two, label your thoughts. When you're in an overthinking spiral, it helps to label your thoughts. Say, oh, there goes my anxious brain again. By giving it a name, you create some distance between yourself and the thought. It's not you, it's just the thought passing through. This simple mental shift can help you break the cycle. Tip three, schedule your worry time. Try this, designate a specific time in your day, 10 to 15 minutes for worry time. When an anxious thought pops outside of that window, remind yourself that it'll have to wait. You'll be surprised how much control this gives you over your mind. Overthinking needs boundaries too. Tip four, take action. Overthinking often stems from indecision. The more you think about what to do, the harder it becomes to take action. So break things down into tiny manageable steps. The more you act, the less power those racing thoughts have. Action creates momentum, and that's what pulls you out of the overthinking trap. Tip five, be kind to yourself. Remember, overthinking often comes from a place of self-criticism. We're our harshest critics, right? So try being kind to yourself. Talk to yourself the way you talk to a friend who's going through the same thing. Self-compassion is a powerful antidote to anxiety and overthinking. And here's the good news. It's possible to stop overthinking and move toward a more peaceful, secure mindset. In fact, many people who experience anxiety find that over time, with the right tools, they can significantly reduce their anxious thoughts. Ready to take the next step? Check out PsychUp's free well-being assessment to explore what support might be right for you, your unique needs and preferences. You'll receive personalized assessment results with a variety of care options, including potential therapists, and mental health provider groups that match your needs and accept your insurance, educational content to support your continued exploration of mental health, and helpful apps you can use to nurture your well-being. It only takes a few minutes to change your life. Click the link in the top corner or use the link below to begin. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit subscribe for more tips on managing anxiety and living your best life.